And just don't hit that plus post with it. Oh, it's a. That's why I did a, a negative. And if I hit it, it's already. No, I mean, if you hit the plus oh, post the with plus. your wrench. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah it'll. Huge fire. Yeah. Explosion. I had this one off too. I forgot about that. Blinker came on. Yeah, the alarm is now active. Of course, it's telling me it knows it's alive again. You can just turn it off. Yeah, um, turn it back on. I still... did. I started it. You're going to go that way?
some of new tires. See any smoke, see some steam. It has 159,224 miles at the moment. because the tire, the car's been sitting so the tires are going to be a little long. Got flat spots. Yeah. <clears throat> It'll smooth out if I drive it enough. Don't be in the number. <laughs> no, no, I just... Yeah, see, this is... Yeah, so you just pull. That's why I couldn't get up last time. You know, I said even you put the code in, it's still waiting on something. No, I didn't to, put the code in. It ah, just, I just was pressing random places and wasn't making a beeping sound, <laughs> so I had to climb out. Clutch, which is worn out. Going 48 miles an hour. So, did hours. you get this new? Yeah, I bought it new in 2001 in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And it sat for a while because I had another car. This is my second car at the time. It's been across the country to Alaska. I feel the lumpiness of the tires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you don't feel any lumpy in that engine. That boxer engine is so smooth, yeah. so balanced. Original carbon fiber trim elements and everything that was very hot back in 2004. Uh, yeah. High tech stuff. I've never <laughs> seen that. Haven't had Subarus before. I recognize so many features. You know the little the little yeah. compartment up here and the little thing down here and all the stuff. It's got all the accents of silver. Uh. Got a really 
stickers. I gotta get rid of some of these stickers. I gotta get rid of these base stickers. You know, in the mornings I've taken to going out the other way and getting out by the Toyota plant uh -huh. and coming down. I don't even get on 53 in the mornings or at night anymore. Really? Uh, That's a good idea. I just cut over to Toyota and zoom. <laughs> Going 75 over that bridge, and I look, and there's just line of headlights all the way yeah. back up here. And in the evening, instead of getting off and sitting there waiting, I'm just going up to the Toyota plant and come around that way. Yeah, people cut in up there, it just makes it a nightmare. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to change that and put in some kind of barrier. There's a clutch something like that. So dragging that up. And so it's fully warmed up now. It's very consistent on temperature. It's totally unmodified so the it's just stuck between hot and cold all the time. Well, my thermometer gauge, the Baja had one, and it always read the same place. It only take you know, five minutes to get to that temperature, and it would stay exactly there the whole time. Yeah, I have another car that doesn't do that. It's moving all over the new car. Well, now the Forester that I had, no, wait, it wasn't the Forester. It was the GL10, the wagon, the very first one I had. I did overheat it a couple of times, yeah. and the second time it warped one of the heads enough to where we tried and we tried, we could never get it to not break. So well, this car's never overheated. So uh, it's extremely, given its age, it's been very well tempered the whole time. It's uh, 34 out right now, degrees Fahrenheit, so that gives you an indication of what's going on. The tires aren't going to warm up quickly in this temperature. It's been down to the 20s overnight, so. <clears throat> yeah, it was 18 this morning, but really? I got up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like, yeah. It was 25 yesterday at 8. I thought, oh, it's pretty cold. <laughs> See, the temperature is still extremely consistent. There's no variation whatsoever. Yeah. That's the advantage of an unmodified car. Subaru made this car to work. <laughs> we'll just mess them up. Hey guys. Let's smell the clutch a little bit though. The clutch doesn't have that many miles left on it. It's tens of miles.
Nice and clean, no fuzz or anything. Mm -hmm. It's a two-year-old battery, but it's fairly good to use. It's even a Subaru battery, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah.